Weekly Tires Club, the aftershaft damsel. Start with your hook and your vise. Take eight wraps of .020 lead-free wire. Position the wraps uh, about the halfway point on the hook. Start your thread in front of the lead wire and wrap back over to secure it to the hook. Then cut your tag and the thread off. Now position your thread halfway between the eye and the lead-free wire. Now cut a section of ultra wire here in dark olive and tie it down perpendicular to the hook using cross wraps. Bring your thread behind it and make a little loop about a hook gap in length and tie it down on the far side and do the same to the inner side. These will represent the eyes of the damselfly. Once both ends are secure, go ahead and position them the way you want and cut the rest off free. You build up a nice thread base. Now tie in some small gold wire. Start on the far side and bring it to the near side. This will help keep the wire from slipping out. Now grab a section of marabou here, damsel green. Measure a tail about a hook shank in length and tie it on the back of the hook. Take wraps so that it won't move around the thread, the hook shank. And then move your thread up to behind the eye, twist the marabou and start making touching wraps up the fly until you reach right behind the chenille eyes. Then take wraps of thread to secure the marabou and then cut it off. Now take counter wraps of gold wire up to where you reach your thread behind the eyes. You should get about five or six wraps. Wrap the wire off and helicopter it off. Now take some olive swiss straw, cut a section off. Tie the butt end of it down behind the eyes and wrap back over the marabou a little bit. The thorax should be about one third of the hook shank in length. Now grab an aftershaft pheasant tail fiber. Create a dubbing loop about the length of the aftershaft feather. Bring your thread up behind the eyes and put the feather parallel into the dubbing loop. Once it's situated, go ahead and give it a spin. This will create a nice little fibery dubbing loop. Now take touching wraps all the way up to just behind the eyes making sure to push the fibers back as you wrap. When you reach the eyes, go ahead and tie it off with your thread. And then cut the dubbing loop off along with the stem. Push the fibers back and fold over the, the Swiss straw to form the wing case. Tie it down right behind the eye, advance your thread in front of the eye and tie it down again. So you have two sections of Swiss straw. Then, go ahead and cut the swiss straw off, make a nice little thread cone head, and we'll finish your thread. And that's the fly.